Okie dokie. If you're here today to fix a corner on your house that the rock is all falling apart or the concrete blocks or whatever and you got a big crack on your corner, something similar to this, well, you're in the right spot. Today I'm just going to fix this right here for about a dollar, but um, you could do extra stuff. For me, I'm going to be using this concrete uh, bricklaying masonry mortar mix from Lowe's. Um, if I can find a barcode, there's a barcode right there if you need that okay and it just comes from Lowe's it's about six dollars and eighty cents right there and I'm gonna use a portion of that bag not the full bag just a very small portion and we're gonna mix some concrete right now to do this and then I'll be making other videos on this crack right here as well and how to fill in a place like this where you have a loose faucet outside in the rocks and you got to patch that around or a gas line going in we got to fix some more stuff around like this Okay, so stay close, follow along, and let's mix this concrete up. Just by putting a little bit of water in there and mixing it with this shovel, and I'm gonna put those gloves on to put the concrete on, on this. The first thing you're gonna wanna do after mixing the concrete is take your paint, your little uh, sprayer, your little water hose, and spray the, the little area down with water. Really good, okay? Get it in those cracks really well. Okay, okay, that's all you need to do. Okay. Now that that's sprayed with water, this is the consistency of my mix right here. It's got a little, you know, a little beef to it, I guess. It's not just like a sloppy slop, but it's it's thick enough and it's thin enough too where it can slide off the end of there if I kind of shake it a little bit. So that's what I got going on. And like I said, it's not a perfect science. Just if you have a really thick, thick spot, you're gonna want to you know make get a thick the thicker stuff. And if it's a really really tiny crack, like the tiny cracks at the bottom, you might want to use some of this really wet stuff right here that's really wet. Okay and shove that wetter concrete up in there and this thicker concrete, you know, right here or right there. And if you got really big spots, put you some rocks in there, find you some rocks in the yard, you know, use some rocks like that for a little one, or, you know, maybe use you a big rock like this. If you are missing a rock, just place that rock in there and concrete around it. Like I said, you can put metal in there or you can just do what I'm doing. Um, the, this old house right here, for instance, is 80 years old. And this is all they did. They put rocks and put this crappy stuff, this mud-like stuff in between the rocks. It's not even really good concrete. It's not like today's concrete. It's really brittle. It's brittle concrete. And anyway, it holds up well enough with just the rocks and that brittle stuff. Just plop, 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 plop. Sponge right in there, nothing fancy. Okay, you can see down here. It's just rocks so and it's hold up for 80 years so say what you need to say do what you need to do but 80 years old is about a lifetime and uh i'm just gonna glaze it like they did here about 40 years ago and and besides this one crack because who knows what they did maybe they didn't do a good corner connection i could just fill this in and it could last another 100 years 80 years 40 years who knows so follow along and you will see all I'm doing now is I've taken this loose rock out. You're gonna to wanna to take any loose rocks out. So this one was loose and I put it right down here. I also took a rock from over there and I put it down here because this corner was busted out at the bottom. So I'm just placing this rock right in there like that and taking this piece and putting it right over here like this. And I'm gonna shove concrete out around in there, starting with the thick concrete here, thinner concrete in right in that crack and then you know a little bit thicker over glazing bring that out a little bit over the top of this and this is what it looks like right here okay i'm gonna start down here okay i'm gonna take some thinner mush and we're gonna place it in where that rock fell out right here and inside that crack and just kind of go like this back and forth that and we're gonna work it like this work it hard into those cracks 
Okay. Keep working it in. Don't worry about overspill. Okay. You're gonna get some overspill. Just work it in that crack. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Work it in that crack. And I'm gonna keep doing this. Well, I'm gonna work every inch of that crack. And I'm gonna go over it, back and forth over it like this. Pressing as hard as you can into that crack. Just keep pressing, 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 pressing. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and I'll meet you right back after I do this several more times. Pressing, 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 pressing. And at this bottom, press, 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 shape. Press, 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 shape. Okay, and I'll see you right back. Now that this corner has been drying for about 10, 15 minutes, I'm taking a little scrap piece of wood that I found in the yard, nothing fancy. I'm just gonna take this wood now and I'm going to go over the concrete like this. Okay. And scrape all the crusties off. Okay. And then down at the bottom, And I'll continue hitting this all with wood on the side. I'm gonna shape this corner. Okay, looks like there's a little spot right here. Okay, and this, once dried, you can see there's not gonna be any concerns on this corner if you were an inspector. Plus I'm gonna be painting the entire foundation all the way around the house. I'm gonna be painting that, but you can see if you were walking around, this is gonna be the least of your worries. We got siding issues. We've got, you know, a broken window, very little broken window there, but look at this window's broken right here. We've missing siding right here. We've got gas lines with no concrete around it. We've got a big crack right here. This is the stuff the inspector is gonna see. How do I know? Because I figured it out the hard way. If this video was helpful in any way, go ahead and like it, subscribe to the channel if you like home improvement videos, and follow me over to my next video, which is this one right here. All in my masonry playlist. That's them doobie brothers, boy. I can't with you.